I am Sadash Gadankar. Today I am solving the problem of simply separated beam. Downward arrow is positive, upward is negative, sagging is positive, hogging negative, couple clockwise negative, anti clockwise positive. Now, first I will convert into a point load. There are the reactions. Convert into point load. Convert, converting into a point load here. Point load RA. Now for UVL, 1 by 2 into base into height. The value for this one is 75 kilo Newton. And 1 by 3, 1 by 3 from base end, 1 by 3 into base. That is 1.67 or if you are measuring from this side you have to take 2 by 3 into base. This will be 3.33, 3.33. This is 1 meter, this is A, C, there is load acting here at, uh, this is B, this is C, C, 50 kilo Newton load is acting here, 2 meter, there is a couple clockwise rotation 50 kilo newton meter d and f there is a reaction sorry it e there is a reaction r e now sum of vertical forces is equal to 0 minus r a plus 75 plus 50 the couple doesn't have any effect on the vertical force minus r e is equal to 0 minus taken common r a plus re if you bring this term this side it becomes minus minus 125 kilo newton minus minus case cancel re plus re 125 kilo newton equation one now taking moment about a taking moment about a. I am taking the moment about A here, I'm making this as a fixed end. Now R e into distance, R is equal to distance 10. If you count it, the distance will be 10 here. Minus the couple will act 50. Now 50. Please don't consider the distance when the couple acting, just you have to write the couple number. Next minus 50 into distance that is 6 minus minus 75 75 into 3.33 is equal to 0. Therefore R e is equal to R e into 10. This term has to be brought this side, it becomes positive sign that is 600. Therefore R e is equal to 600 divided by 10 that will be 60 kilo newton substitute this value in equation 1 put re in equation 1 therefore ra is equal to 125 minus 60 65 kilo newton we got re is nothing but 60 kilo newton and ra is equal to 65 kilo newton now find out the shear force shear force now right and left at e shear force at e right side because there is a load acting here zero at side side there is no load left side there will be the load at e left minus 60 Next, the couple will be there, SFD, there is no load, directly the previous value. Next, at C, there is a load, take it as a right and left, SFC at right side, the previous value, minus 60, and SFC at left side, minus 60, plus 50, minus 10, minus 10, 
at b there is no load sf at b single letter you have to take there is previous value minus 10 now at a again right minus 10 plus 75 plus 75 answer is 65 sf a at left at left the bottom will be there 65 minus 65 it becomes 0 now draw the diagram shear force diagram sfd 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 above is positive below is zero negative this is zero at a is zero and 65 this is 65 kilo newton next at b is minus 10 minus 10 this is minus 10 at c minus 10 minus 10 again at c 60 minus 60 at d 60 minus 60 at t e, minus 60 and 0 now because of udl there is a parabola parabola you have to write parabola here parabola there is no load straight line bottom again there is a no load straight line upward negative 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 positive now find out the bending moment here bending moment find out the bending moment bending moment at a bending moment at a this is point a that is e is nothing 60 60 into 10 minus 50 minus 50 into 6 minus 75 into 3.33 it will be 0 bending moment at B bending moment at B 60 into 5 60 into 5 minus 50 minus 50 into 1 200 kilo Newton meter bending moment at C 60 into 4 minus 50 minus 50 it is 190 kilo newton meter there is a couple now couple as there is a couple first i will consider left bm at d left left that is 60 into 2 minus 50 answer is 70 kilo newton 70 kilo newton meter bending moment at D on right side right side that is 60 into 2 120 kilo Newton meter and bending moment at bending moment at E will be 0 everything is positive here now first 0 at A is 0 and D E is also 0 B is 200 B is 200 200 kilo Newton meter C is 90 190 190 the couple is there couple 70 first 70 is there next 120 120 0 as this is a UVL therefore a cubic cubic has to be drawn and little bit bulge because we have to find out maximum when the shear force cuts here from positive to negative it is a curve parabola this is cubic cubic now next inclined line again inclined line upward line next inclined line Now we have to find out this distance x. Now here in order to find out the x 
please construct the separate diagram for this part i will construct a separate diagram now i will cut this section because it is a parabola if it is a triangle directly you can solve it but when it is a parabola it is not possible to solve directly somewhat you will get answer if you go for direct method but exact value will be not be obtained in order to avoid that one please cut this half section this should be unknown i will cut this part i will rewrite here i will cut that part because in order to find out the distance this is unknown for me this is a load acting from the bottom that is 65 kilo newton is acting this is the x distance x these are the downward arrow and this y will be what this y is nothing but the previous value is 30 you have to write as 30 divided by 30 divided by 5 into x is nothing but your y distance this is nothing but y distance 30 divided by 5 this is the 5 you have to take into x into base into base you have to take now convert into a point load now this part is converted into a point load now i'll convert this into a point load this is 65 point load 1 by 2 into base into height 30 divided by 5 into x the x distance y is nothing but 30 by 5 into x x distance and the total distance will be x total distance will be x here now we are in out we have to find out the x distance now i will consider the shear force shear force here of this unknown shear force now first bottom arrow is nothing but negative the bottom arrow is negative here i will consider shear force minus 65 downward plus 1 by 2 x plus 30 divided by 5 x is equal to 0 is equal to 0 now with the help of calculator you can find out the x distance minus 65 plus 1 divided by 2 into alpha x plus sorry not the plus here it is multiplication into 30 divided by 5 into alpha x shift alpha shift is equal to sol the x value obtained is 4.65 meter the value of x is will be 4.65 meter 4.65 meter that means if you substitute this value here it will be 4.65 meter now once you get the x value now now what is the distance here 1 by 3 into x 1 by 3 into x now go for bending moment i will consider that this is a g value shear force at g will be g uh, distance you can find out now bending moment at g we have to find out bending moment at g how to find out this part bending moment when it is moves in this direction that means it is smiling that means it will smile in this way it is smile that positive 65 into x x is already known 4. I will write the expression: 65 into x minus 1 by 2 x square 30 divided by 5 into 1 by 3 into x minus. This is the sad face. Sad face. Therefore, 1 by minus 1 by 2 into x square into 30 divided by 5 into x into 1 by 3 into x. From the base, we have to take 1 by 3 into x. Now substitute the value of x here. Now substituting the value of x, 65 into 4.65 minus 1 by 2 into 4.65 square. 30 divided by 5 into 4.65 into 1 by 3 into 4.65. i'm getting confusion i will rewrite this part again here i will rewrite in a separate paper once again now i'm go for bending moment i will solve the bending moment here 
again bending moment alt g 65 into distance x minus 1 by 2 x into 30 divided by 5 x into 1 by 3 x is equal to 0 we got the x value 65 into 4.65 minus 1 by 2 into 4.65 into 30 divided by 5 into 4.65 into 1 by 3 into 4.65 65 don't consider a 0 here okay 65 if you calculate the answer will be sigma max is equal to 201.70 kilo newton meter in this way you have to solve the problem okay be careful while calculating this part now this problem occurs when there is a parabola comes in picture if the parabola comes in picture they have to separate this part first find out the shear force the shear force value through the shear force diagram you can find out x distance and from that x distance you can find out the bending moment in this way okay i am santosh gaidankar thank you very much